when learning the bony landmarks, it can be easy to swap the words tubercle and tuberosity because they both begin with the root word tuber, which means it's a rounded swelling. And they're both bony projections where muscles are attaching to bone. However, we use tubercle when we're talking about a small rounded projection. On the humerus, you have the greater tubercle and lesser tubercle. They're both small rounded projections where muscle is attaching. And on the femur, there's this itty bitty little bump. That is the adductor tubercle. Tuberosities, on the other hand, are large roughened surfaces. Sometimes they're a little bit rounded, sometimes they're more flat, but regardless, they are larger. For example, on the part of the hip bone called the ischium, there is the ischial tuberosity. On the back of the femur, this large roughened surface where some butt muscles are attaching is the gluteal tuberosity. And on the radius, this would be the radial tuberosity. So my only note about this is when you're handling the radius in person, the radial tuberosity is small because the radius is a small bone. So I think they went with tuberosity because comparatively to the size of the radius, it is large. But when you're looking at it compared to the other tuberosities, you might not register it as being large.